Hey traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is for CNBC's Trading Nation. Traders, let's go to work in the financials. Uh, financials are in breakout mode here and they're being accompanied by higher U.S. yields. So that's what we'd like to see as those yields on the longer end of the curve move up, that, in, that net interest margin, which is the ability to borrow in the short term, lend in the long term, increases their profit margin. So what we're looking at here is JP Morgan in the white over the 10-year U.S. yield in the green. As you can see, is a scrunch the chart out here going back to the summer of 2016 you can see that the two have a fairly strong correlation and what's interesting here is jp morgan along with the rest of the banks are breaking 2016 highs so if you look focus just in on the white bar here forget the green for a second you can see jp morgan's through the highs whereas the yields have not we're seeing this in several of the strong financials. I think the banks are foretelling higher yields. I think that's starting to be discounted in. So I like the macro kind of story that's happening here. The other thing that's happening off subject here is crude oil. Crude oil is acting very strong. That's a sign of coming inflation. Inflation signals lower bond prices, which signals higher yields, which filters into those financials. So there's kind of a macro storm happening here. So as we get rid of the yields and focus in on the chart just of JP Morgan, we can then set up the trade. So I'm doing a little bit of that Elliott Wave analysis here. And on the chart here, if we focus in from June of 2017, I see us in a third wave move. And usually the strongest phase of a trend is in that middle third wave. The first wave gets us started. Wave three is really the breakout. And then wave five is off the screen is the final push in the, in the, in the trend. So what we see here is the 100% projection. What that means is 100% at 101. That means the distance traveled in phase one is equal thus far at 101.82, same distance traveled. Traditionally, that third wave will press to a multiple higher than distance traveled in one. So that points to 105, possibly even 110. Let's go ahead and just focus on the move up from 100 to 105 in the options market. So the trade I'm looking to do here is out in the December monthlies. We're looking to buy the 100 call, so about $1.70 in the money, so it's got some intrinsic value. Let's go ahead and sell the 105 call, which is that first upside fit projection, paying $2.39, depending on fill, paying about $0.80 cents a day for a one-by-one one call spread. We'll put that trade to work, and that trade is now working. Now, max profit in this game uh, on this trade is about $264. Uh, we just outlaid about $239 of premium. That gets cut in half. So roughly if we go down to about $120 of premium remaining, let's cut the trade. The trade is obviously not working. Contain risk and move on. Otherwise, let's look for a continued move up in JP Morgan up to around the 105 with confirmation from higher U.S. yields. For CNBC's Trading Nation, I'm Todd Gordon. Good luck on that trade. Be sure to follow us at Trading Nation on Twitter for updates to this trade as well as all the other trades our traders are watching. We'll see you guys in the next video update. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.